Department. There's no, there's no good jobs here. Let's do a quick. Well, let's go. Let's go quick to Liege. Liege. And that's the. Let's have, take a back whole, whole loader to Liege, and that's um that's the best pound for pound one we've got, and then we'll probably get another. We'll have time to get another job. Oh fuck actually I forgot I need to sleep as well. Um So sorry, I've been all over the place here. Right. My first point was the most critical thing. How I like him, but I think he had a bit of a bad time <coughs> taking to a right wing kind of trans issues and there at night kinda of slaughtered him a bit for it. This is the vibe I got, maybe maybe not. I don't I'm not even sure I've not even done my, my own research on it, but let, let's just say that that is the case. I guess my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not us to see. It's a lasera. It's a lasera. Whatever will be, will be. So, yeah, my main point was just that um, that never went that well for the man. Um, I was, and then, and then I went, moved on to RFK Junior there by by talking about that article that was talking about the fact that he's uh, he believes that vaccines give you autism, um, and and my point was is like uh, in relation to most critical as was that it really, you know, you need to be prepared to ar to debate and argue with these kinds, and you need to know your stuff because if you don't, they know. But they know what they think they know, do you know what I mean? Like it's wrong, but they, they, they've got the information there to kind of back up their argument. If people aren't, if there's no edu educated people there, um, what is going on? If there's no educated kind of people there to challenge them, then, then they, you know, it doesn't matter if they're talking pure shite, because they will just... I guess I'll do that one then. That wasn't the job I wanted, but I guess when I went to sleep, I lost out, lost my opportunity to do that job. Uh, yeah. So my point was, the, the other person could be talking as much shit as you want, uh, as the, as you are most critical in this instance. But the fact is, is they are. It doesn't matter to them, and, and their supporters don't care either. Like they, they are talking the same amount of shit, but you're not going to be held to the same standard as them. Do you know what I mean? So you can fucking. Kind of put like you can forget about that. Do you know what I mean? Like you need to be the the voice of reason because they're sure as fuck not going to be. And then if you're not, then then they'll you are going to get slaughtered. But, which, as I said, is hilarious because you know they're talking shit all the time, pure unverified fucking misinformation bullshit constantly. But you know you see one wrong thing, um, and. They're all over it, which I find hilarious. There's a good so 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 I'll move on. I'll move on. My, my point was I had a lot of things on the docket to talk about. One of them one of them was was the most critical thing and why I don't want to talk about politics anymore. But so much has happened since then that I think I just need to throw that at the window. And I think I just kind of need to again again as I say I, I'll try to avoid politics as much as possible just because one you know. YouTube's a cesspit, to be honest. I mean, to be honest, most of my target audience, unfortunately, probably are. Fucking, um... Oh, fuck, actually. Um, probably, like, are fucking mad right-wing mutants, but regardless. Um, so that was the one reason I kind of wanted to do it. And the other one, as I said, was I'm, I'm not informed enough, so a lot of the time I'll probably just kind of embarrass myself, even though, like, they're embarrassing themselves all the time. But, you know, you, 
you can't, you couldn't mark the, the, these cunts names. And when I say cunts, I'm talking about all you fucking right wing Trump supporters. You best believe I'm talking about every single fucking wannies. Um, you can't mark their necks with a blowtorch. They're too fucking stupid, for one. And two, they don't care regardless. Like, the ones that aren't stupid are fucking evil. So, um, you know, they... You, they're not going to be. They're not. They are not going to hold themselves to the same standard as you, and sure as hell, their supporters are not going to hold you to the same standard. So, again, more reasons. What the? F I better not get a fucking red man hang here. You fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? But you completely fucking forgot how to drive a truck right now, man. I completely know that I would ever that good, but fuck's sake, man. Helga's really been on the lash because she lost all her fucking skills, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was the main reason I said I didn't want to talk about politics. Uh, um, kind of... Like that, the sound of my indicator. Oh, who knows? Who fucking knows? Um, because when I when I talked about the flag shaggers thing not that long ago, the whole change colours of the flag on the England strip debacle, I got quite a few comments from people, and, and I kind of knew that that was going to happen because you did, you know, the minute you you delve into this shit, whether you're right or wrong, you do invite that. And as I said, the internet and YouTube especially, um, I'm not on Twitter anymore. Well, I was never on Twitter, but like, not on Twitter, but that is by all accounts even fucking worse. But uh, they're riddled with these people, um, riddled with just pure fucking alt-right fucking idiots. And, you know, you're not, you're not going to find, um, it's unlikely you're going to find like-minded individuals. It's unlikely they're going to be the ones commenting. You're going to be getting fucking mad mutant Trump supporters um, commenting. So for all these reasons, the fact that I'm a bit uninformed, for the fact that I can't be arsed with the fucking shite, the fact that um, they are not held to the same standard of like information and, and credibility as you, means that you know meant that like I didn't want to really talk about politics anymore and I mean that you know in, in all walks of life I'm not just talking about on here I'm talking about like you know in, in all, all walks of life in real life as well just I don't really want to talk about it but then I kind of thought I've been hinting I've been hinting and I'm like you know that's not me do you know what I mean like fuck yous that is not me like I, I'm like I, I, I'm not going to pretend that like I don't feel strongly about these things. Like I, I, I will, I will be open in saying that I don't have all the information all the time when it comes to, you know, politics-specific candidates, things people have done, you know, the, the implications of certain economic policies, any policies for that matter. Um, you know, I'll be open and whenever I do dabble in it, I'll be open in saying that that is the case, so that you. Just, you know, I'm no bloating smoke up mon arse, you know what I mean? Like, I, I know that I'm not, like, the fucking, an expert on most things. Um, but, so I will, I will, I'll pretty much always lead with that disclaimer anytime I'm talking about anything. But the, but to not, not ever talk about politics again, I don't really, I'm, I'm not looking to have arguments for cunts online, so if people do comment, Unless I think I want to come back, I'm probably not going to reply. And to be honest, I'd still rather they didn't. I'd rather I'd just see this stuff to like vent. And I'd rather either like-minded individual came and commented going, oh, you're, you know, I agree, that's all a load of shit. Or, or people just didn't comment at all. Um, even though comments and that are probably good for like the algorithm and stuff, but I'd rather just not have that. Um, that hassle, but I'm still going to, like, fuck not talking about politics, like, I'll try to avoid it as much as possible, but, like, I don't, I, I, I would be lying to say that since that result last week, um, with Trump being voted president, and, you know, this is, I'm, I'm from fucking Scotland, you know what I mean, this, this is like an actual, although I made, like, 
what, like America, you know, what was happening in America had major implications for everyone, everywhere in the world. You know, at the end of the day, we're talking about a president in a country fucking thousands of miles away from me, you know what I mean? Like, other than like the kind of, like the global socio-economic implications and also the kind of, like the culture, cultural implications for like West, the West basically. Apart from those things, I mean, who really, like, who gives a fuck from my point of view that, that Trump's in power, do you know what I mean? Um, in theory, like, I really shouldn't let it get to me, but, like, what I was going to say is, like, you know, I'm saying I don't want to talk about politics, but I'd be lying to say that I don't feel super strongly about it, and I'd be lying to say that I've not been in a fucking a pit of despair since that result last week. In all honesty, and, like, I, I shouldn't let it get, I, I mean, I doing like a new, we all knew it was a possibility um, that he would get in, um, but, it, but it's it's put me in a fucking bad way, I, I must be honest, like, I'm, I'm absolutely fucking scunnered, I'm like, I'm just, I just can't emphasise just how devastating a result that is for just humanity, do you know what I mean, just humanity, and I'm not even talking about the implications, because like last time, I don't think he's going to do, like, half the shit he said he's, he would do. I don't think he'll be allowed to, and I, one, I don't think he will. I think he'll be largely all talk. I mean, last time he did plenty of damage, but, you know, the world didn't end, you know what I mean? Like, most of his damage was done to, like, fucking, like, was done, like, through the kind of judicial system, and, um, you know, from like the, the, the people they appointed in the Supreme Court and things like that. I would say, that, like, again, I don't have enough information about all everything that really went down that first time, but that would be the, the, the main things that popped out to me. Not not to mention just like the the generation of absolute cunts he's produced as well that, that call themselves his supporters. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm sure it will be all right. Do you know what I mean, it, it's just four years. It's quite a long time. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not. And then after that, he's gone, do you know what I mean? You know, like, so, I shouldn't have let it, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not out here saying the world's going to end or anything like that. But I still, it's, so, so I really shouldn't have let it get it, get me as done as it, as it has. Like, I should be just be like, fuck it, man, it is what it is. Just a fucking, a political, just a fucking, the results of a political, you know, it's just a result of the election. It's going to, it's going to happen. It's not always going to go your way. Um, and life will get better. Do you know what I mean? Shit will change, and that's just the way it works. So, as I would like, in theory, I would like that. I would like to, to, to have that. Um, fuck's sake! Fuck's sake! That mentality. Uh, but I, ju I just, I just can't, I just can't, I wish I could do that, like I said, like, the world will survive, do you know what I mean? It's going to be a lot worse for some people than it is for others, i.e. people of Palestine, people of UK, and, um, obviously he's convinced he's always going to come in and end those wars. The only way he ends those wars is by, like, pulling his scants down and letting two absolute fucking, like, genocidal maniacs fucking red in his romp. That's the only way he's going to end those wars in the timely fashion that he's suggested. Um, look at that, that's so fucking high grade. Um, so obviously it's not great for them. It won't be great for like gay people and women in America. Um, but you know, life will go on and, and most people, you know, should survive and, and it, we'll, we'll get through it, you know. 